सुधाकर बरबड़े असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकन्वेशन इंजीनियरिंग वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी सोलापुर टुडे वी विल डिस्कस डिफरेंट एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ पी एल एल दैट इज फेज लॉक डूप इन कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम्स एंड इन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू सी एफ एम डिटेक्टर एफ एस के डी मॉड्यूलेटर एंड पी एस के डी मॉड्यूलेटर लर्निंग आउटकम एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट्स विल बी एबल टू डिस्क्राइब वॉट इज एफ एम डिटेक्टर एफ एस के डी मॉड्यूलेटर एंड पी एस के डी मॉड्यूलेटर कंटेंट्स वी विल सी फर्स्ट वॉट इज एफ एम डिटेक्टर एंड देन वी विल सी सम डिजाइन एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ डिजाइन एग्जाम्पल्स यूजिंग पी एल एम If you look at this is what the FM signal, which is also called as RF signal, which is given to the FM demodulator, and we get the output that is demodulated output here. So we are going to extract the information signal present in this carrier. using this fm demodulator so in order to able to demodulate fm it is necessary for the radio receiver to convert the frequency variations into voltage variations so this input frequency variation has to be converted into voltage variation and then we will get this fm detector so it is this circuit can also be called as frequency to voltage converter so it is possible this type of frequency to voltage conversion by using pll as we know pll consist of phase detector low pass filter and uh, this is error amplifier actually and the output of this is given to the vco and vco output is given back to the phase detector and so the output of phase detector is actually passed through low pass filter and amplifier here what we get is the signal voltage which is proportional to the variation in the input signal and this feedback loop tries to maintain this vco output frequency which is equal to the input frequency so the pll can be very easily used as an fm detector or demodulator and this figure shows the block diagram of fm detector and if you look at when the pll is in lock the state fm signal and vco frequency follows the instantaneous frequency of the fm signal and the error voltage or vco control voltage is proportional to the deviation of the input frequency from the center frequency therefore the ac component of error voltage or control voltage of vco will represent a true replica of the modulating voltage that is applied to the fm carrier at that time of modulating the information signal and this is actually what we can say is the output of this phase detector after passing through low pass filter and error amplifier we get pure uh, signal which is varying depending upon the variation in the input frequency and that is what the fm demodulated signal let us go ahead with pll as a fsk demodulator frequency shift king that means to how to extract the digital information signal from the frequency shift keyed uh, in uh, signal so in computer peripherals or in radio communication the binary data or code is transmitted by means of a carrier frequency 
that is shifted between two preset frequencies. In digital, only two logic levels are there, logic level 0 and 1. So, 0 is represented by one frequency and 1 is represented by another frequency. Since a carrier frequency is shifted between two preset frequencies, the data transmission is said, said to use uh, FSK. The frequency corresponding to logic 1 and logic 0 states are commonly called as mark and space frequencies respectively. Here, logic 1 is represented as mark, logic 0 is represented as space frequencies. For example, when transmitting teletype writer information using a modulator demodulate called modem, these frequencies are used 1070 and 1270 hertz, which corresponds to the uh, space and mark frequencies. Space frequency is 1070 and mark frequency is 1270. So, here we use these two frequencies to represent the a carrier uh, inform a carrier signal is varying between these two frequencies or uh, sometimes it may be having this value or other time it is having this value. If you look at the circuit diagram of FSK demodulator using IC565 that is PLL, what we uh, do here is as we see already this R1 and C1 are the VCO frequency components and the input is applied to pin number 2 through this coupling capacitor. Pin number 3 is grounded differential input. Then output we are getting at pin number 7 here that is demodulated output. Same signal we used or same uh, point is we used for getting the FM demodulated signal. Only the difference here is we, we use these R and C components uh, that is to uh, bypass the high frequency components present in the demodulated signal output. So, these components remove any noise present in the demodulated output which is given to the output comparator and which generates the pure digital signal uh, as a digital output data. So, here the FSK demodulator is uh, just similar to FM demodulator except that it has got the output comparator which generates the digital signal uh, equivalent to the input frequency present in the uh, uh, input uh, frequency present in the carrier. So, here to understand the operation the output of uh, this uh, triple 5 FSK generator is applied to the uh, 565 FSK demodulator. So, here triple 5 was used to generate the FSK signal and uh, 565 is used to generate the FSK demodulated signal. Coupling capacitor is used to used at the input to remove the DC component present in the signal. At the input of the 565 the loop loop locks to the input frequency and tracks it between two different frequencies that is uh, here if you look at 1070 hertz and 1270 hertz. R1 and C1 determine the free running frequency of the VCO and there are three stages, uh, three stage RC ladder filter is used to remove the carrier component from the output. And in the output of the comparator we give we get a digital data and in digital data communication and computer peripherals binary data is transmitted by means of a carrier frequency which is shifted between two preset frequencies as we discussed earlier. 
this type of data transmission transmission is called frequency shift keying technique the binary data binary data uh, can be retrieved using fsk demodulator and the figure shows uh, fsk demodulator using pll for teletype writer signal of 1070 hertz and 1270 hertz as the signal appears at the input the loop locks to the input frequency and tracks it between the two frequencies with a corresponding dc shift at the output so the output of the uh, phase detector uh, changes depending upon the change in the input frequency a three stage filter removes the carrier component and the output signal is made logic uh, compatible by using external uh, voltage comparator using ic uh, op amp ic by this time you might be knowing fsk but then uh, there is a question how fsk and psk that is phase shift keying signal are different you pause the video and answer the question as we know the in F psk phase shift keying phase of the carrier signal changes depending upon the applied input voltage as compared to uh, fsk the frequency of the carrier signal is changing depending upon the input voltage so the same concept which was used for fsk is used to uh, demodulate the psk signal here if you look at this is what the psk signal applied to the uh, phase detector input so this phase detector then uh, low pass filter and vco these are the three important blocks of the pll so combinedly these three blocks forms uh, pll and uh, we get here digital output by uh, using some external logic gates and uh, generating the data so this can be very easily understood by this waveform Uh, if you look at this is the input data this is a psk signal and this is a half vco just look at here this uh, vco frequency is divided by 2 and then it is applied to nor gate so this is a half vco output okay divided by 2 uh, okay then mx3 output is signal we get by uh, xoring these two mx3 means this one uh, just look at Uh, this one mx3 this output okay so we get uh, one of the input to this is half of output of vco and another input is a psk signal so we get uh, x noring of these two signals we get this then vco output frequency is shown here and from this we get a, a data which is equal to the data which is transmitted so this is what psk demodulated data references i used the book called electronic system design by vibhav t tarate electro tape publication satara and one more pdf i used which i have given a link here to prepare these slides thank you thank you very much